featuring Patti Smythe. Beat of a Heart, what a great song. CVT guitar lesson for John. Remember this song very well. Um, what was it, 1984, 85? I was just looking at it. I believe it was 84, the year Van Halen Jump came out. And I remember this song because I remember how catchy it was. And, you know, she's pretty. You know, what, what can you say? Great song. There's multiple guitar parts. Uh, I went for the main in these. So I, uh, hopefully you like how it's put together. Standard tuning. And um, let's jump right in. 7GB. I'm going to use third and second finger. I'm also going to bar the fifth fret on the G and B with my index. You'll see why. Because we're going to pull off to those. <laughs> And then 7th fret D twice, and then string mutes. Just lay your fingers softly over the strings and hit like the D and G. That's the sound you want. 3 open 1, D, G, and B, and then 2, 0, 1, and then down up. That up, I'm just playing the root, which is the 2nd fret off the D. But you can hit the chord, you know, you can go all three if you wanted not a big deal that goes four times the fourth time no star so let's play the third and then the fourth one so you can see what I'm talking about right there that's just gonna ring out then the verse comes in at 17 seconds in section 1b now this is very close to the same idea but you're gonna go when you pull off, you're going to go play just like you were a section 1A. Go 7D once, though. 5GB. And then back to 7D. So it's... Then 3D, open G, 1B. Palm, uh, palm mute all that. And arpeggiate it. So pick it in that order. And then strum 2, open, and 1, D, G, B. So it's... Rest and then down up on that chord. Okay, so that sounds like this. Okay, and then the next time it goes. The very end, after you do your palm muting, then bar the first fret E and B, strum everything from the D down, and slide it up a whole step to 3 3 open 5. That's the section. You're going to play it two times. So you go right back to the... Oops. Okay. Then section 1C comes in. 32 seconds in. This goes... Hold on here. And then... Yeah. 5-5-3, five, five, D, G, and B. Slide it a whole step up to 7-7-5. Seven, seven, then go 7-5-5. Five, five. So you have... And then 5 open 3-3. Three, three, last four strings. And then over a whole step. So you have... And that's it. A uh, bunch of repeats at 36 seconds in. The next new part is a minute nine in, section 1D. It's only two chords. And you're going to go. That's pre-chorus. 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. I like to bar that stuff. And then bar the 1st fret from the A string all the way down. Go 3rd fret, D, 3rd fret, G. Strum it from the A string down. That's a B flat two. Love this chord. So you have. Okay, this part is a blending of two parts. Oops. G, 3B, open E, and then a 6B. 1B, open G, two times. 
then repeats again at a minute 26. Next new part is it, um, it's actually, the next new thing you're going to come across is the solo. So, so what we're going to do here, <clears throat> he's got like a, sounds like a Sustaniac pickup on this. I don't think they had those back then, but it keeps the note coming. Um, when he plays this. So this is also kind of a blending of two guitars. 3D, open G, barred first fret, B and E. It's a six count, or a measure and a half. So you'll go. Two D open G, then go three D, keep the open G, and then back to two open D G twice. So it's three A and then open two three D G and B. So that whole part. Two, three, four, five, six. And then strum the last four strings, but go open two one one. Two G, let it ring, slide to seven, and then pick. And then you play it all again. Oops. Yeah. And then. Top of page three. This is really cool. 14, middle finger on the D, pick and hammer on to 15, and then 13B, it's a hold, so you want to hear the 15 ringing with the 13B. Takes the whammy bar, pushes down, brings it back to up to pitch. Kind of emulates like a, it's hard to bend it this way, but. 10th fret barred last three strings, down, up, down. So you have, oops. Three ten. You're gonna go five G six B. Two times on the five six, and then once on five five. Two times. And then five slide seven on the G, vibrato, pick the seven, hammer nine, slide ten, and then eight E, so you have, and then ten pull nine G, and then pull seven, slide five, five slide seven, vibrato, slide five. Let me play all that. So you have, oops. that again. 320 timestamp, mute, and go down up on the last four strings basically. And then he does this. 12th fret, D and G. 10th fret, G and B barred. So it'll be hammer 12, full 10 on the G. So it's 12, 10, D, G, vibrato. 12, 13, D and B. And then, let's see, 12 G, bend, release, vibrato, pull off to 10, and then 12 D, vibrato, 10th fret, bar D, and B, slide. 5 G, slide to 7, and then pick it, vibrato, slide 10, slide 9, we do that again. Slide 10, slide 9, and then slide 17, and then back to 14. But you don't pick that each time. you got to have a high sustain boost. I picked it so you would hear the notes. Yeah. All right, 
right, so, but if you pick those, it'll still be fine. Down up, down up, string mutes on the last two, three strings. Uh, repeats at 335, and then section 2B, 409, it's a mixture of two parts again. You'll go 5, 3, open, G, B, E. Open one D G B. One hammer three on the B, and then you repeat it. It fades out on that part. So, all right, John. Thanks. What a treat to do this really super catchy, awesome song. And um, let me know if you need anything else. Appreciate it, man.